Hello students, welcome back. We're going to have a look at a video which is the last of our main videos. I'm going to do a quick revision video for those who are studying for tests, but um, uh, the last of our main videos here is talking about shortest path. Now we've had fancy uh, algorithms to figure out minimal or shortest distances and that sort of thing. But um, there's a, an old school basic method where we just think it through here. Let's have a look. Shortest path. The shortest path between two vertices in a network is the path where the sum on the weights of its edges is minimized. So we want uh, basically the shortest walking distance if we were going to imagine that we're walking between vertices here. Okay, to find the shortest path between two vertices, I haven't got anything fancy for you here, it's the basic stuff. Select all the likely shortest routes and we'll talk about what makes a uh, route likely. Then we're going to calculate their lengths, add it up, old school, and we're going to compare them and uh, identify the shortest. Uh, it's amazing, but sometimes the basic stuff works here. Let's have a look. So we've got our kind of steps that we're trying to follow up the top there, but let's have a look at our diagram for an example. Now to get from A to G, we're trying to figure out here, we could go a couple of different routes now. Um, when we're selecting the likely shortest path, I don't reckon it's going to include F here because we can go from A to B or A to E and I think we're getting closer and closer to G rather than going the long way around. So if you think a route is the long way around, don't choose it as a likely shortest path. You'll be wasting your time. Okay, we've got A to B to C to G. That's one likely shortest path. I'm going to illustrate it with my fancy red thing. Okay, so that's one possible path. And we're just going to compare it, uh, calculate that and compare it to another likely shortest path. I think you can possibly see it without my help. But it's A to E to D to G. So that's possibly the shortest. But let's just calculate it. Just add it up and compare it. So when we add up our 11 and our 9 and our 7, the weighted uh, edges there, We've got that calculation and we could calculate it for the other route as well. 13 plus 7 plus 10. I don't want to spoil it by uh, getting the totals too early here. Keep you in suspense. <laughs> okay, so um, the ABCG one that's in red there uh, is 27 units long. It might be uh, kilometres, it might be centimetres, who knows. Uh, because the network can represent all different types of realities. And we'll add the other one up and we see that it's 30 units long. So when comparing those two, I reckon the first one is shorter. 27 seems to be a smaller number than 30. I'm being silly, but still. So the shortest path between A and G is A, B, C, G in red there, with uh, 27 units in its length. So no fancy algorithms there. It's just looking at each of the possibilities and adding them up and seeing which, uh, which version, which combination of um, vertices is going to get you there quickest. Okay, so that's the shortest path. A bit old school, but still. Hope you enjoyed the Network Concepts uh, video series altogether. Uh, as I said, check out the next one, which is going to be quick revision. Uh, it'll be a good rundown, a good overview, quick overview just before a test. Thanks. See you later.